Hi everyone, I'm Sushi Roll from TwoTentsDown.com. We've been on the trail for 51 days and I had a request for a gear review. So we just walked out of Damascus a few miles, found a stealth camp spot, and I think this is the perfect place. I'll start with the sleep system. Uh, we sleep in the Z-Pax duplex tent. It's a two-person, single-wall, lightweight tent. Um, we are really happy with it so far. It stands up to wind and most rain. Sometimes we get a little bit of um, rain coming. It's not the rain that comes in. I think it's condensation buildup on the inside um, that drips onto our sleeping bag when there's really heavy rain. Um, other than that, it's held up really well for us. So next we've got the uh, sleeping pads. We both sleep with the uh, Neo Air Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, um, and I've been really, really happy with that, especially on a blow up mat over a pad because I'm a side sleeper and it's a lot more comfortable. So uh, those are the those are the pads. Um, we hold them together with these little straps. It helps from to keep us from sliding to the outside of the tent. We got those straps from z-packs as well um, and they're great so this is my uh, clothes bag it's a z-packs uh, fleece line cuban fiber dry bag uh, I put my clothes in this during the day and then the cool thing about it is if you flip it inside out um, it's got the fleece on one side um, and I put my puffy jacket on the inside and it makes a perfect pillow this is my sleeping bag. It's the REI Jewel Down Sleeping Bag. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever. I haven't had one cold night with it. I love it. And I've seen a lot of the other people with these on the trail and it seems to be that everybody else likes it too. Uh, I also put a silk liner on the inside. I've kind of stopped using it now. It's getting too hot. But I was using it for partially for um, to keep the sleeping bag clean and partially for warmth. But it's kind of getting too hot for it. Uh, oh yeah, so I keep my sleeping bag in one of these. It's a Sea to Summit Event waterproof dry sack. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So I've kept most of my gear the same, but I have updated my pack. Um, I started with the Osprey Aerial 65 liter, and the reason that I've gone to the Osprey Aura 50 liter is because my uh, other pack was too big and I found myself stuffing it with unneeded unneeded items. So I'm hoping to uh, limit that situation by using this pack. Um, I also dropped a pound by going to this pack as well. Um, the one thing that I was worried about was losing the comfort, but I, I still have the comfort with this pack and going to a smaller pack, and I'm really happy with it so far. Um, let's see. Inside my pack, I use a pack liner. I use the Z-Packs Cuban Fire Cuban fiber bag liner um, and a lot of people complained about these wearing out really easily and getting holes in them but um, I've had this one for 500 miles and I don't have any holes in it and I haven't had any um, leakage into my bag whatsoever so I'm also using the uh, Z-Pax 4-in-1 uh, pack which I use mostly as a chest pack um, it just goes, it just links right onto the straps and goes right on your chest. Um, this thing is my favorite gear item so far. I put my phone in it, I put snacks in it for the day, I put a pen, my notebook, and it's always right here in front of me, ready to go. Um, when I'm in town, I use it as a little messenger bag, and it's just a really great gear item. One thing I've been really thrilled about is my water system. I use these platypus one liter soft bottles. I use two at a time, one on each side of my pack. Um, and I do that because I like to have my hose here to drink from all day long. That way I drink more water throughout the day and I don't have to reach back and grab my bottle out of the pack because it's really hard for me to reach. So I, I really love this setup. I would really recommend it as well. Uh, for water filtration, I use the Sawyer system. This is the Sawyer Squeeze. You've probably heard of it. Uh, it works fine. Syringe to clean it. I cut off one of the Sawyer bags 
and I use it as a scoop. It has been necessary. I would also recommend making sure you have a scoop with you. And I use this as a dirty bag uh, for the times when I want to grab a little bit of extra water uh, before I get to camp and ha I'll have enough to have dinner, breakfast, and enough to fill my bottles in the morning before I leave to go hiking again. So this is my rain gear. I've got the Golite Malpais rain jacket. It's a men's jacket. I got it on sale on the REI garage. Love it. Works really well. This is the Osprey uh, large pack cover. Just good. Works. Um, and this is the Z-Pax rain kilt. It's really nice because it um, gives you a little ventilation as opposed to rain pants where I heard that people get really sweaty in them. I've not really used rain pants, but this works really well. And that's my rain setup. So I just want to show you guys some of my miscellaneous items that I also carry. Um, first of all, I do carry a seat. This is a Thermarest uh, Ridge Rest foam pad. I've cut it down and just in Damascus uh, today I cut it down again to be smaller because I realized I didn't didn't even need it to be that big. So this thing is great. Um, I have lunch on this, I have dinner on this. I mean sitting on it, not eating on it. And I love it. Uh, I carry a notebook. I always like to take notes um, if I can every day but so I carry at least one notebook. Right now I have two and a pen. Toilet paper, I'm gonna be out for five to six days before hitting another town. So I've got two rolls and hopefully that'll do, do the trick. Um, I've got this nice trowel here. Uh, it's called the Deuce of Spades. It's pretty awesome, really, really lightweight. Um, I'm talking like an ounce or something. Um, and you dig with the, the skinny side when um, you have a really tough time digging in the ground. And then the thicker side is for like easier, easier dirt digging. And it really is a great little shovel. Uh, I just got this at the Dollar General. I wanted a book. It's kind of a luxury item. And, but I, I like reading and I haven't had a book out here yet. So I thought I'd grab this and read. Uh, this is something that we got from another person on the trail, like the first or second day. Um, it's just a little towel, a uh, microfiber towel, and mostly what we've used it for is wiping down the tent. Um, just like in the morning, wiping off some dew, or if it's, if it's rained overnight. Um, just wiping it down the tent makes a big difference because otherwise, once you roll it up, it all ends up in the cabin of the tent all the water so that's kind of annoying um, so this has been a really good tool to to have with us thank you Chelsea um, uh, this microfiber towel I use for a shower towel um, a lot of places don't have towels that they give you with the shower so this thing is perfect for drying off you wouldn't think so because it's so tiny but honestly this is really all you need you just rinse it or uh, just, you know, wring it out and then, just, you know, start wiping off the water again. Um, this is a new purchase. Just got this. It's going to be a pee rag. Um, a lot of girls carry them just to, uh, just to try and stay, stay a little drier um, after going to the bathroom. And I haven't used it yet, so um, I'll report back if I like it. and. And let you guys know if, it, if it's worth it to have one. Um, we found some rope on the trail. We found a, a couple different lengths of rope on the trail, but found this and one other length of rope that we still are carrying in a tent that someone left behind, unfortunately. Um, but we've used this for a couple different things, and it just kind of helps to have a little, a little bit of rope hang stuff up or tie something to your pack or something like that. Hand sanitizer, necessary. I mean, it's obvious. Pretty much everyone has that. This is a tick key. Haven't had to use it yet, luckily. Uh, I just clip it to the outside of the pack and 
We do, you know, semi-regular tick checks. Haven't seen any ticks yet, but I know they're coming. And uh, we did talk to a guy yesterday or the day before who said he's already picked a few ticks off of like his pack or something. So I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be time to start worrying about this even more so now. So this thing, hopefully, haven't used it yet, but have that. I've got a little rock. This is just a trinket I've been carrying with me. Um, there was a boot along the way with a bunch of rocks in it and just a, a note saying, uh, you know, there was a guy who was gonna hike the trail and he died before he could hike the trail. So uh, his wife wanted people to take a pebble with and take it all the way to Katahdin. And uh, that's the plan. So I've been carrying this rock the whole time. I have another trinket, uh, Nantahala Brewing Company beer cap. Um, love this thing. Just as a nice trinket to, to have with and to say, you know, I, I had this almost at the beginning and I'm gonna carry it, carry it through. This is the uh, AT guide, or the, uh, uh, what's it called? What do you mean, like AWOL's guide? Yeah, the AWOL's guide. But it, yeah, it's the AT guide. The AT guide, right. Um, and yeah, so use this, and I also use gut hooks, um, but I think it's, it's nice to have both to, to uh, refer to when we're looking for, for mileage and everything. Um, so that, those are my miscellaneous items. Just a note, that noise you heard in the last video, um, I think we're by another trail. It seems like it's like a motorbike trail or like a four-wheeler trail or something, um, but we're just out of Damascus, like two or three miles, and um, I think there's a few other trails. I know there's the Creeper Trail, which is a bike trail, and then there's something else over Iron here. Mountain, I think. Iron something. Mountain Trail. It's like that way. So we've been hearing it's right these, next to us. Yeah been hearing these loud motor um, these loud motors and have no idea what it is but it's right there so I'm gonna use my seat and do this video and I'm gonna use Risha's seat because she has one too and I'm gonna show you my electronics so electronics here I've got this anchor charger my lovely little sister sent it to me. I ordered it before we left. It didn't get there in time. She sent it to me um, on the trail, and this thing has been awesome. If you are a YouTuber or you use your electronics a lot, I would definitely go for this. It charges your phone like four or five times. Um, so that's been a great thing. Um, so this is my. This is what I use to plug in all my all my little. Uh, um, like my phone and my charger plug it into the wall um, and I like it because it has three holes it's a my charge um, just a little battery um, a port. little uh, yeah a little port um, I've got this this little USB and or a memory stick and I haven't used it yet I've been meaning to get to a library just to get all the stuff off off my phone um, what else all my cords phone cord, charger cord, all my cords. Uh, I have a little mp3 player here. Um, it's been nice to have like at night before bed. I've used it once while walking. Uh, do you know what this is called? No, I can't remember. Okay. It was can't, just on Amazon. Can't remember what it's called. Just a cheapie on Amazon uh, does the trick. And um, iPhone headphones. I've got a little Fitbit. Uh, a little Fitbit, um, just like a belt clip-on thing. I just leave it right in my Z-Pack's chest pack and um, just update it to my phone every so often. But thank you, Marianne, for this. Um, let's see. This is my Black Diamond headlamp. I have absolutely no complaints about this. I haven't changed the battery once. I've been 500 miles on the trail, 51 days, and it's got the red light, which is great because those white lights coming into camp are just a pain. It wakes you up every time. So I would recommend just splurge and get a headlamp with a red light, especially a red light that you can go, that you, like an adjustable red light, because this thing has been awesome. Being like in camp, you can read, uh, read a book or uh, write or anything and just put on the red lamp and it doesn't really bother people uh, I think that's it for electronics your little green bag. Oh, right. I put my electronics in here 
it, it's a waterproof uh, Z Packs bag, and I, I actually put it in a plastic bag and then I put it in here just to be safe because I really don't want anything happening to my electronics. But it hasn't gotten wet at all, and I just shove this down in my pack and. Everything else goes in my Z-Pax chest pack, like my phone and headlamp. This thing can get wet, it's been fine. But yeah, that's my electronics. All right, so this is my food setup. Uh, to start with, this all here is food, and this is just my food. We've resupplied in town and clearly are not used to resupplying in town. Usually we get the mail drops. So we've bought way too much food and we're gonna carry it and eat it. So, uh, to start with, this is a random bag I got out of a hiker box, um, just for extras when there's overflow from this. Uh, and I've got a fuel canister in here, a backup one for the jet boil. Uh, the jet boil is what we cook with. Risha usually carries the jet boil. In fact, she always carries the jet boil. Um, and that's been really awesome so far. A lot of people say it's too heavy, but I love it. It it does, it works every time, even when it's cold. In, and in my opinion, it's a great piece of gear. So um, this is the Z Pack spare bagging kit. Um, I've had troubles with this. It's not waterproof. This bag doesn't have holes in it, but this clasp comes undone when you're hanging uh, your bear bag. And sometimes, you know, you're hoisting it up and it comes undone, and then the whole thing drops to the ground. So uh, it's not very sturdy. This uh, also comes with the bear bagging kit. It's a rock bag. It's got holes in it. Um, this little string is really flimsy, um, and the carabiner that they send with it is also really flimsy. Ours broke on like the third day, and it was it was a disaster. So if you do decide to go with the Z Packs bear bagging kit, uh, which I don't think is their best um, gear item. Get a different carabiner because uh, it's not strong enough to hold your food. Um, what's, let's see what else. Um, we also have another um, another dry bag, the outdoor research dry bag. We usually put the stove in there and the dishes. Uh, this is the, the Snow Peak Titanium Bowl. Yeah. Right. I think so. Um, we each have one. It's been fine. It's not quite the biggest, so you can't have a, a gigantic meal in there, but. Uh, it's worked for us so far, uh, no complaints there. Just some aluminum foil to put over top when we want to steam our food. Uh, these are amazing. Um, we each have one and we saw somebody else with these. Uh, do you know what the brand is? GSI. I think it's on there. Oh, right. GSI is the brand and they're scrapers for your bowls. So, um, a Ridge Runner told us once it's a better option to uh, just scrape out your bowl instead of cleaning it in the woods uh, for multiple reasons. So we now scrape with these things and it cleans the bowl really, really well. This is a great gear item. Um, these are our little wipers, little uh, rags for, for dishes and stuff. Um, yeah, this, light my fire spork. <laughs> it just broke as <laughs> I took it out of the bag just now to make the video and I realized it was broken. This is the second one that, that broke on our trip, um, and so I'm gonna have to replace it, and I don't think I would take another one of these on one of these type of hiking trips. Uh, it just doesn't hold up. Otherwise, I mean, it's it's great other than it, it doesn't last, <laughs> you know, on a long distance hiking trip. Uh, Risha got this as a replacement for her Light My Fire Spork. It's a Sea to Summit uh, plastic spoon. Uh, with a long handle and she seems to really like it. Yeah, it's sturdier. It's, I think it's a thicker plastic. Sturdier than the Light My Fire? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so this seems to be a good one, a good um, alternative. Also, I've heard of the titanium uh, spoons. You can get like a titanium spoon, long handle spoon or something. Other people recommended that, but I haven't tried it yet, so we'll have to see. Um, I've got a Sea to Summit cup. We each have one. We use them for coffee. We really like our coffee. And uh, we also do vitamin C uh, little tablets in the morning and we put them in here to drink and hot chocolate and stuff too. So that's all the stuff for food. So if the z Pack spare bag uh, wears out and we end up having to get something different, we did just talk to a guy 
who uses a Sea to Summit uh, bear bag that also doubles as um, a backpack. And it's a real lightweight little backpack that you can take into town with you um, and just put you know a few things in. So that might be a good alternative. Okay, this is my little first aid kit um, and tent repair kit. So I put all my stuff in this outdoor research bag uh, to brush my teeth. I do not use a Z-Pax toothbrush, but I like the little, uh, I threw away the toothbrush. It was, it didn't work for me um, because it was too soft. So I got a different toothbrush, cut it off and put it in the little Z-Pax uh, case. Um, I use Dr. Bronner's camp soap, the unscented camp soap for toothpaste. It's awesome. You only need a drop and I think I would even do this at home. Um, mosquito head net, have it, haven't used it yet. I think it's coming to that time. Uh, this is a Sea to Summit head net. I can't say anything about it because I haven't used it yet really. Um, decided to start using these little towelette things. Uh, it just helps for like wiping your face off and giving yourself a little sponge bath on the trail, keeping a little, little cleaner. I got this in town a few weeks ago. Um, finally had to use it, but uh, I just wanted to have a little scissors to, to have in my bag in case I needed to cut something like moleskin. Um, I needed this for a few days when I had um, some issues with my feet. Haven't used it since, but uh, got, got these two items from Tenacious. Uh, some like Neosporin, but Polysporin. And this is Gold Bond powder. Haven't used it yet. Can't say anything about it. Uh, chapstick earplugs. Also haven't used them yet. Inhaler. Used it. Um, tent repair kit. This is just the stuff that comes with the Thermarest and the stuff that comes with the Z-Pax uh, tent. So just basic tent repair stuff. And my little, uh, my little first aid items. I've got the uh, iodine tablets, some Aleve, uh, some KT tape, some band-aids, uh, needle and thread, what's this, Rolaids? Tums. Tums, uh, uh, extra hair things, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then I have some feminine products. That's it. Okay, so these are my clothes that I have for the trail. Um, to start with, I have my Patagonia Capilene Midweight Base Layer. I was wearing this every day on the trail, but it was too hot, so I decided to get a Patagonia, a long sleeve Patagonia Capilene Lightweight Base Layer that I'm wearing instead. I wear long sleeves and long pants because um, ticks and sun. Uh, so that's just my choice, what I like to do. Um, I have these shorts for town. Just Manchester a City. Ooh. Just a lightweight pair of shorts. Um, I have these ex officio underwear. I have two pairs of these, so I just trade those out. Um, I have um, this extra pair of underwear for town and uh, certain times of the month. I have uh, a, an extra sports bra for town as well. I have Patagonia midweight uh, base layer pants um, that I'm thinking about getting rid of soon, and I'm, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um, it's getting warmer now, so uh, I do have two pairs of um, darn tough. Darn tough. Wow, two pairs of darn tough socks um, that I uh, started the trail with, and a pair of uh, toe sock liner, Injiji toe sock liners. And since I got these new shoes. Since I got these new shoes, the Oboes, I got uh, fits. Fits. I got a pair of fits socks that are a little bit thicker um, and just a little bit different from the darn tough socks. The guy at Bluff Mountain Outfitters recommended the fits socks, and I love them. In fact, they're my favorite pair of socks so far. Um, these are my Oboes that I'm wearing. Got those to replace my Merrill Moabs and they're hiking shoes. Um, I really, really like them so far. Haven't had any issues and I'm, I've worn them in and they're great. Just got these Outdoor Research Gators. They 
replaced my REI gaiters that I had, which were worn out and I had to just get rid of them. So these are a little bit more heavy duty. So far, I really like them. And yeah. Okay, my pants. These pants are REI. Uh, I don't know what they're called, just some REI hiking pants. But they're the stretchy kind. Yeah, they're nice and stretchy. And the nice thing is they've got these these little, uh, it's like you can change the size of your, of your belt. Um, tighten it as you need to. And that is a really great feature. I also like that there's a pocket here. I put my wallet in here and a knife and it's, I'm good to go with that. Uh, let's see, I've got my fleece. This is a REI midweight fleece. I've been thinking about sending this home as well, and I guess this is a good time to come back to it. Talk to a few people, and um, it sounds like a good time to start thinking about sending a cold gear home is like Damascus or uh, Parisburg. Um, so in between that area, checking the weather and talking around and just seeing what, what weather is looking like in the mountains and stuff, just to be safe, making sure you're not sending too much stuff home. So, we're thinking in the next week or two, we're going to send some more stuff home. Um, I also have my handy dandy buff here. Wear this every day. Love it. It, it is, uh, you know, just what I need. And then, I, and then I've got uh, just a sports bra that I wear as well. That's all my clothes. Okay, last few items, last few gear items. Uh, this is my Columbia sun hat. I absolutely love this hat. I wear it almost every single day. Um, I got really badly sunburned on Blood Mountain and I got blisters on, on my ears and on my hands and I just want to be really careful about the sun now. So I wear this every day when it gets really, really hot in the mountains. Um, these shoes are my camp shoes. Some people call it a luxury item. Uh, I don't think they're a luxury item. You got to get your feet aired out. And I put these on every night, air out my feet, hang my socks to dry, and they're pretty lightweight. I got them from Walmart. No idea the brand, but those are a good thing. And one of my favorite pieces of gear, my Lecky trekking poles. I believe it's Lecky cork light um, trekking poles. These things are awesome. I've had absolutely no problems with them. They hold up. I can lean on them really heavy. Uh, they've got these quick release locks. Um, you can slide them up and down. I really can't say nice enough things about, about these trekking poles. We also use these to hold up the tent. We trade them out. One day we'll use mine, one day we'll use Risha's, and they're awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching my gear video. Please take the time, check out some other videos, and have a great day.